Hi everyone, I'm Mattia and I suspect I'm the mood killer today because I will be speaking about human rights violations and a very specific practice of the International Criminal Code that deals with human rights violations, that is the prosecution of sitting heads of state. Now Albert Einstein said um, and blamed governments for human rights violations in the 20th century and he was right. Um, so he said that we should move towards a, a global governance, a world government to prevent this from happening. In this context, the International Criminal Court is the only tool we have nowadays uh, to deal with genocides, human rights violations and war crimes. And it's incredibly important to investigate how the International Criminal Court is dealing with them. As Jana said, we are all earthlings and the idea of global justice is awesome because it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you are, if you commit those crimes, you're gonna be punished. Awesome, right? Yeah, that's awesome. But I have three questions for the criminal the International Criminal Court, and I'm challenging the International Criminal Court on its own terms. So is the International Criminal Court marginalizing criminals? Is the International Criminal Court promoting democracy? Is the International Criminal Court sustaining the world of NGOs? Now, marginalizing criminals means that they will be put in jail and they will not be able to replicate those crimes. Easy enough. Uh, promoting democracy is a less explicit way to say that if governments are not allowed to crush political opposition, this will lead to a more democratic environment. And this is one of the stated aims of the Rome Statute, which is the underpinning treaty of the International Criminal Court. Third, the International Criminal Court is the torchbearer of a world government. As such, it should sustain the work of civil society groups, such as NGOs, um, Amnesty International, um, Medicine Sense, Volunteers, and so forth. Overall, the aim is to prevent this from happening, to prevent genocides from happening, to prevent human rights violations from happening. Uh, to deter the recurrence of international crimes um, and to allow the Smurfs or uh, the UN peacekeeping <laughs> mission uh, to protect civilians in those countries who need it the most. <coughs> now, I had these three questions in mind, and these two guys were indicted by the FCC Uhuru Kenyatta and Omar al Bashir. They are still presidents of Kenya and Sudan nowadays, and they enjoyed a huge uh, boost in popular support since the warrants of release uh, the warrants of arrest were released so the ICC is not delivering on the marginalization of international criminal and this is because they were able to exploit a new imperialist neo-colonialist narrative to raise the to make the people support them Vice President Taha who was part of the moderate forces in Sudan uh, was blamed for the ICC intervention in Kenya and was removed from his position and put in jail. Different story for William Ruto, who was opposing Uhuru Kenyatta in Kenya, but because the ICC indicted them both, what um, Kenyatta said was like, let's make an alliance, win the election, escape prosecution. And that happened in 2013. So we had two governments that should have been marginalized, <coughs> that enjoyed an incredible increasing support, popular support in their own countries because of the warrants of arrest. Um, the third point was about NGOs, and this is a picture of a Sudanese NGOs that had to replace um, Amnesty International in Sudan because 25 NGOs were kicked out the night after the release of warrants of arrest against al-Bashir, 525 NGOs were kicked out of Kenya in 2013 because allegedly they were cooperating with the court. So the government, authoritarian government, decided to kick them all out. Kenya, these NGOs provided for 70% of Kenyan needs on food and stuff. Um, in terms of casualties, you have to trust me on that, but there has, a be, there has been a huge increase of both conflicts since the ICC intervened in those conflicts, and a huge increase of episodes of violence against civilians because the governments retaliated against civilians for ICC actions. So on this, the Smurfs did not a good job. <laughs> Thank you for this. Um, so is the ICC delivering on its own mandate 
on the practice of indicting sitting heads of state and prosecuting them, uh, while judges speak about the importance of international law, the bodies keep piling up. Thank you.